OMG BBG! Welcome back to another Beyblade Geeks video. Today we're unboxing Hasbro Pro Series. It's been a while since our last Pro Series unboxing, so it's nice to see you. Now we have Knockout Odax. This Ooh. is actually from our wave number six. Um, so I have kind of mixed feelings about this one because I really like the fact that we're getting Odax because Karatomi sort of locked us out of getting this uh, layer really easily. Um, so we had to buy that random layer system, like that whole set, which was difficult for people to get. Um, so now you have an easier way to get Odax or knockout Odax through Pro Series from Hasbro. Um, but the back of the box, I gotta show you, I think most of you guys also agree with me. A lot of these parts uh, on here are pretty random. The driver from Orocalcum, uh, Okta. So right? strange. So a lot of these random parts, um, not the best parts, especially in this combo, but... Originally, the recommended combo was like Ultimate Reboot or something. It was known to actually be a pretty decent attack combo, but they released it with a bunch of stamina parts. And so now you can see from the box that it is considered a stamina type bay. Also, it's already almost 2023, and why are we still getting Beyblade Burst Rise Pro Series stuff? Like, give us some sparking stuff. All right, let's take a look at this. I remember that uh, Knockout Odex was always super small. It's like a, such a tiny bay. Um, so, let's see if that's my memory is right. There we go, this is the lair. Okay, okay. After unboxing a couple of quad drive bays, now I'm touching this and looking at this. Okay, like I give it to them. There's details, stickers in here. That's good. Um, metal, oh, like that. First impressions, so far so good. Stickers are now on our knockout Odax. Uh, so four very small stickers. One, two, three, four. Um, and then, do you guys remember GT bays, how they work again? I almost forgot, so unlock. Gonna pop out your GT chip. And then inside you also have your weight. So this controls the weight distribution of the Beyblade. Now that we have the bay apart, let's go through each one. So first of all, we have the Odax uh, GT chip. Um, it's nice to see the Odax or Odin symbol come back because we really didn't get that many releases where we have this character. And the next thing we got was a uh, LW09, which is the Go weight. Technically, this one is actually a rare part. The last time we got this from Takeru Tomi, I remember we got it from a B00 release with Judgment uh, Valkyrie, a very attack-oriented uh, weight for the GT system. And if you collect Pro Series, you can actually use that part with your other uh, GT Pro Series bay out there. And then we also have the main energy layer. So this one is Knockout. Yeah, surprisingly, it actually performed pretty well in the recommended combo back then. Yeah, and I remember it does hit pretty hard, just the way the wings are shaped. It's small, but pretty powerful. The next part I want to talk about is the disc. So the disc here is 11, which is not very exciting at all. I don't think this is a fan favorite at all. I think Hasbro just kind of put this in just to add some variety. Yeah, the release of 11 was pretty underwhelming in the very beginning and it's still not that memorable. It's also paired up with a lift frame. So the lift frame is pretty interesting. It, it's kind of scrape heavy and not entirely like very competitive, but I do like it for the gimmick of being able to um, rotate it the other side and just attach it differently. And then interestingly enough, we also have a weird driver. This one is Okta. So it looks actually really cool. I like the uh, look and feel of it. You have some metal on the bottom piece. Yeah, and the box advertises that this will help you have a heavy metal hit, but it's like a defensive driver. So I mean, it's really not going to help you that much with those attacks. Especially not the best life after death compared to something that's circular. But the octagon shape looks pretty cool though. A little bit rare though, because originally since it was with Orichalcum, like you actually had to go through quite a bit of work in order to get this. Naka Odin originally being an attack type paired with this uh, stamina driver is a bit strange. Yeah, the weight system in GT is actually quite impressive. It's uh, a cool design. It's like the predecessor of the whole armor gimmick, right? In DB, so. Yeah, and uh, yeah, here's our 11, <laughs> wow, look how weird this combo is. 11 uh, lift oh with this driver god. that's like fused inside. Oh my god, this thing's gonna scrape so bad, but it looks kinda cool though, not gonna lie. 
combo <gasps> so weird. Like, why didn't they just give us the recommended combo that was on the random lair box? I just don't see how Aura Calcum's Octa Driver was a fan favorite. <laughs> it's rare, so I mean, it has that going for it, but rare yeah. doesn't always mean that it's good. Yeah. So you can still get your code and scan it into your Beyblade Burst app. And once you scan it into your Beyblade Burst app, you have it here available to battle digitally. Still looks really whack, even just, on the game. I was gonna say the same thing! I was like, it still looks whack on there. <laughs> yeah, that driver needs to be replaced ASAP, man. Alright, test spin time, 3, 2, 1, go! <laughs> That felt like a mislaunch, but I actually launched it flat. <laughs> Let's just try that again. Three, two, one. What the heck? I'm telling you, man. Such a bad combo. What is this? You know what? Fan okay. favorite combo? <laughs> Hasbro basically pulled off like a whole quad drive type of situation on the Pro Series by giving it this combo. This is so funny. It's so weird. Um, test battle time. But you know what, to be fair, the lift frame is currently in the mode where it's protruding out, so that would scrape even more. Let's try to change that, uh, see if it'll give us slightly better performance. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh my, come on. Yo, Harmony Pegasus ruined this guy. Parts went flying. Nice to see an epic burst though. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Still jumping a bit. Oh, hey, you got me. Remember, wow. small but powerful. <laughs> All right, you have no chance now. Three, Three two, one. one. <laughs> Man, dragon, so strong. The best uh, Pro Series Bay. So that is it for the unboxing of Knockout Odax in Pro Series. Do you guys think that this bay actually deserved a Pro Series uh, remake? Or is this just a forgettable bay altogether? So knock on Odax, should you buy it, consider it, or avoid it altogether? In my opinion, I think you should consider it. Getting a Takeratomi one is probably not a feasible idea anymore, so a Pro Series remaster, a re-release is a good idea. The parts I came with though, um, I'm not too sure about it. Uh, and also, just the bay in general, it being GT Bay, I don't know if you want to spend the money on this compared to, for example, Command Dragon, where we know it's pretty decent. On top of that too, Pro Series bays are getting more expensive here in North America. I think here in Canada, the prices have been bumped up to over $40 for one bay. So keep that in mind when you're shopping. So consider it, that's pretty much it for our unboxing. Let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of this release and Knockout Odax. All right, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and as always, Geeks out.